right guys if you are still watching right now you are truly my fans so remember to help me like share and subscribe this video also leave me some good comment if you really like my channel remember to turn on the notification bell and subscribe to my channel for the future videos all right so today i will be reviewing this figure to zero rengoku from tpa studio so this statue come with a sticker stick on the stand it's the same thing as the statue but in a sticker version right and come with a memorable token it's a token that in the q0 face over here the chinese name and the fire pillar yan zhu so now let's look at his face over his face right you can see they designed these statues in a v-shaped kind look of face and with a very sharp nose on it and a smile on this figure because you know rengoku is always smiling so they must design it in a handsome smiley face and on both of his eye is having a outer orange ring and a red inside and a two white dots in the middle and he's having a also a very unique kind of eyebrow all right now let's look at his hair actually his hair very accurate as i can say in the edge of his hair having like a bit of red and both here is red overall it's just like plain yellow and one of his hair up here also the edge there is a bit red and an orange over here so like overall of his hair just mix of the orange red and yellow color yeah overall it's very good looking and very color accurate so on the left hand he is holding a scabbard and the scabbard is designed in a very japanese style and in a blue and white color and the front and the back actually is in a gold color on his right hand he is holding his sword and on his sword is like a red and black color like a flaming kind of aura here and there's a effect pieces over here but this one is already attached it from the studio which you cannot remove it on the other side of his sword is like having a four chinese wording if I'm not read it wrongly, it's like called 二鬼灭杀 This four Chinese wording over here And also like a black and red and this effect piece And he's grabbing his sword over here At the front of the uniform, you guys can see a white collar A white pocket and a three gold color buttons and a white belt over here And they also design a bit of crumbles like shirt crumbs over here so like you can feel like he's bending down like dashing over you and this crumbs over which is very nice moving on to the pants so it's the same color as the top part and there's like a few lines all also having some lines and a crumbs like some crumbs over here and actually i noticed that they mix up the color of the stocking if i'm not wrong i think this orange part should be a red color and this red part should be orange color and for this shoe is actually very accurate i can say and with these red stripes and a brown stocking and over the back of the uniform you guys can see a chinese wording it's like called um, me they also like carve it in uh. you can feel the feels of it like there's a layer carved into the uniform a mid chinese wording over here and i think the meaning in the corporation right is like elimination of demons if i'm not mistaken the design of the back piece is like it is floating within the air and it makes rengoku looks more dynamic also and the back piece is painted with two different colors white and yellow and it is equipped with a few of the fire effect pieces as well okay moving on to the base for the base they are featuring the mugen train and this is the chinese wording wu xian 
And this is the wheel to open up the place to put in charcoal for the train. And there's a bit design here. And this a bit of scratches, like framing scratches, like one, two, three, in a very different kind of color as well. On the left side, you can see like this is the explosion part, which is surprisingly good. And what surprised me is the shape of the smoke is like shooting out, you know, like coming out and the pieces they are attached it make it like looks more unique you know? looks more real like this part is like destroy and explode out and they attach a few pieces here which looks more realistic and on the other side there's like a flaming pieces these two pieces actually is not removable and this one two three have to attach it by yourself which is very good looking over this side you can see there's a LED light here and this is the body of the train and this is the place that the smoke is coming up which uh, Rengoku is stepping right now and these are like a bit of flaming pieces uh, like feeling more realistic like he's like releasing some of his sword scale over here on another side as you can see there is also a LED light over here and over here you can see clearly the the place that releasing smoke but actually over here is already banned already but this is part of the design so it make it more realistic like when Goku is stepping on it and like dashing over someone yeah, over here for the last part I want to show you guys is the flaming effect pieces so you guys can see right here the all the flaming effect pieces is so damn good the design and this is the back of the flaming pieces yeah, I'll show you guys this. look how good it is I got no words to how to explain this and it's like the flame is spiral up then there's a switch over here to turn on and off of the LED light and this is the connecting point of your power supply and there's another switch I want to show you guys it's just right under his leg right here you can turn it on after you turn it on right you can see the twin headlamp is already turned on alright guys before I ending this video right I would like to share a few experience when I assembling this figure so you guys must take note when you are connecting these pieces so over here for these pieces right you guys must let the pieces to go in first before you connect over here this part you let this part go in and you only let this part go down okay one more thing that i would like to praise this studio is they are actually using a usb-c for the power supply so you can just use a power bank to when you are doing a review or an unbox so you will present your figure nicely when you are rotating your figure so this will be the end of the video although my sound doesn't really spark joy but i'm really excited and happy that i can share with you guys on this figure also if you guys like my video remember to like share and leave me some good comment in the comment section and you like my channel, remember to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for the future video. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.